Greetings YouTube, uh, it's me, Voltor, once again. It's been a long time. Glad to be back. Uh, as you can see, my gear has somewhat moved. And there's some additions and some subtractions. The additions are this wonderful little box here. The uh, Rolls MX41B wonderful little mixer. I recommend it to anyone who needs more than two outputs on their, um, their inputs or outputs actually. Uh, you can use it in reverse too. That's uh, a really cool thing. And there's of course my Voltor box. And then of course instead of the PV I have a new amplifier. This is actually a phonic that I took the PV logo off my old amplifier and put it on the phonic and took the old stickers off and put it on there. There's Dr. Steele who decided no longer to do music. Um, he's retired from the scene I guess. Sad to see him go but I'm still a toy soldier as always. And we've got Moog, Apple, yeah. So yeah, that's that. And of course my custom speaker. That's in there too. And then of course my Taurus pedals, my number one echo. Um, I'm in my room. I hope the acoustics are better in here. But that's not what I came to show you. Ah! Aha! Oh! Mm. Uh-huh. Oh. What? 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 This is the power supply. Almost finished. Not quite yet. For my up-and-coming modular. Yes, that's right. I am building a modular from scratch. That's awesome. So is this. This is what I plan on controlling the modular with. It has a guitar strap so I can wear it. It has knobs for the guitar strap. How cool is that? This has been completely steampunked. It is a miracle piano from the Miracle Piano Teaching System, which, as a lot of people probably know, was a computer-based learning system. It was also for the Super Nintendo and Nintendo. This particular one does not have the Nintendo seal of quality on it. It, therefore, is probably from either PC or Sega Genesis because it was also available for the Sega Genesis system as well. Um, some modifications I've done here. I've added giant LEDs. Ooh. Glowy. Yeah, real glowy. Um, I've added this switch to turn the LEDs on and off. I've added this battery pack to power the LEDs. Actually the battery pack terminates to the switch. That way I can turn it on and off. Then we have little brass knobs, or gears, gears, yes, gears, lots of gears. In a V-shape for Voltor, of course. Then we have um, this big copper sheet and a bunch of, I just love that aluminum grill, don't you? That I love those aluminum grills. Those are so cool, and they're expensive. And I keep them on there with these little brass machine screws. And there's nuts on the other side. And these gigantic brass bolts, which are about half an inch long. Um, let's see. Of course, I took out the speakers. Nobody needed those pieces of crap anyway. It didn't work worth a damn. Um, yep, that's about all I can say for the Miracle Piano. 
Um, it has some pretty cool sounds actually for something from the 90s. Unfortunately, it requires power, so uh, I'd have to plug it in and whatnot. But it does have velocity. Um, if you hit the keys so softly, you get such a soft sound. If you really bang on it, then you get some loud sounds. So yeah, it's got velocity. Very primitive velocity, but it's velocity. Audio out, left and right through RCA jacks. Headphone out through eighth of an inch jack. Uh, the miracle port. <laughs> yeah, God only knows what that went to. Is that DB25 or some shit? I don't know. It's ancient. MIDI in and out. I plan on using that MIDI out quite a bit uh, with my modular. So yeah, that's why I haven't been around. Because I've been building stuff, working on stuff, fixing stuff, modifying stuff. Buying stuff. So uh, I hope to see you all again soon. Uh, this site under construction, please pardon our dust. Thank you very much.